In today's live stream lab, we're going to do a complete walkthrough of setting up a live stream using StreamYard. While your needs may vary depending on the available tech and personnel you have, this setup that we're going to do today is going to be just a general basic setup with a few additional options that you can implement into your live stream. So let's start. So the first thing we want to do is, like we've talked about in previous videos, is set up your stream, set up on your dashboard, create a broadcast, select where you want the destination to go using your producer computer. Once you've done that and you are in the backstage studio, you want to then invite the other cameras, the other participants. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the core computer. I'm here in the THQ chapel, but we're going to use a core computer to uh, share lyrics on screen. So on my core computer, I have opened up the link that was sent. That's this up here and I'm going to call it core slides. Now what we're going to do additionally is we're going to use the external webcam that I have plugged into this. This will be used to just pick up from the back of your core to show the entire service without having to change angles, just a simple angle there. Additionally, we're going to use this uh, microphone H6. What I've got here is a few cables and audio sources plugged into this, which is then connected through USB on my computer. Now you can send a digital signal from your audio desk in your, your soundboard at your core um, if you have some kind of adapter and then sending it into your computer and it will just treat it as a single microphone input. Um, so check that out if you want to do additional audio. We're going to enter the broadcast studio. Now this computer is also going to be used to show words on screen. So up here we want to share our audio and screen two. I've got my core computer, I've got my producer computer at the back of the hall, and the words on screen, this would be your PowerPoint uh, and whatnot, but that's uh, what it's got, and I'm sharing using Easy Worship, and basically, you would not need to change out of the view of this, because you're just going to be sharing words on screen, following along the service like that, and the producer is going to be the one selecting whether or not you're live. Lastly, I'm going to connect a camera, a phone, close up so that we have an angle to pick up either uh, the person at the pulpit or maybe it's a musician angle, something like that. This can be a handheld or it can be uh, just placed on a music stand or even a tripod, one or the other. But that's what I'm going to do now using that same invite link. All right, here we are. We are on the producer computer and we have our three different angles down at the bottom here, or two and uh, screens uh, that are displayed in the core. And what we want to do is we want to add into the stream. We want to make sure that that camera is straight and this will just be your general camera that um, also has your main audio uh, connected to it. Uh, that's your soundboard or maybe it's just as simple as the camera phone microphone we can then also add into the stream the words on screen so the audio component piece is something important to uh, realize we've got this second angle that we want to uh, show here if we have audio plugged into our core computer from the soundboard that's picking up the nice good sound from your pulpit, from your uh, congregation, whatever the case might be. We want to only use the audio from the core uh, slides tab down here. So what we would do is there's these two angles, but we want to make sure that camera two is muted. And whenever we go to it, we don't want to remove core slides from the stream. You will just go solo layout, core slides, it's still sending the audio from your soundboard, etc. And we are going solo visual to the close up camera. Same thing applies when you will then add into the stream the words on screen. We want to make sure that core slides is the main audio. If you want that close up, then you'll have to go with the the two angles um, or you just remove that from the stream. 
The other option that you have down here is to uh, change the sizes from really small, you can't really see that. You wanna make it a bit bigger, words are a bit small now. Um, then you, you have different options down here. Having a well-detailed order of service is very important for this kind of thing. If you want to go simpler than this, you can forget about an external camera connected to your core computer. You can forget about external audio connected to your core computer. You can just go straight to those uh, video sources using that as the audio source as well. But this just adds an extra layer of um, maybe finesse as far as quality of sound and uh, capturing maybe a better representation of what is happening in your core. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you walk through a setup in your core and uh, get you started for live streaming your service. God bless.